I know, but anyways, I do want to say about Ethan. Ethan is a very determined young man and he perseveres. He comes into the day and his school years, all of them consistent. As the teachers were talking, we're like, Ethan's really consistent. He tries his best to do his best all the time and to learn as much as he can. And it's pretty neat that over grade three, grade four, grade five, grade six, grade seven, and grade eight, we say the same thing about Ethan. Like, that is amazing steadfastness. That's really great. So, please put your hands together and welcome valedictorian to class of 2022, Ethan Betridge. Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for attending the 2022 grade eight graduation. Tonight, I have the privilege of representing our grade eight class. Two years ago, COVID-19 stole some experiences that we would have liked to have, such as Fair Glen, concert band, sports events, field trips, and in-class learning. I would like to thank all of the teachers on behalf of all of my fellow students for helping us have a great time in spite of all of these restrictions. Mrs. Barnes was our great JKSK teacher. Well, she taught Haley, Ava, Brooklyn, and myself. I have to admit that that first day of school was intimidating. Here, we learned the foundations of schoolwork, like counting and basic literature skills. This all seems small, but it helped build us into the students that we are today. Into grade one, two. This was where Mrs. Martin taught us phonics, and we can all remember the full donuts we would be given on our birthdays. <laughs> the candles always made them seem just a bit extra special. Mrs. Nineveh taught us songs for math and French that we still use to this day. I'm not quite sure how some of us would have remembered our times tables otherwise. Next up are grades three and four. Our teachers were Miss Gimble and Mrs. Juana. With Miss Gimble, I think that everyone can remember that excited feeling when the boom whackers were brought out. <laughs> this was the grade that many of us started to love music, and we were taught songs like, There's a hole in my bucket, here lies a, or, Doggy, doggy, where's your bone? <laughs> Mrs. Wanup taught us our math facts even faster with Minute Math. In English, we wrote to a pen pal, and Brooke with Brooklyn still writes to hers. The grade eights who were there remember the eternal goldfish who lived for two years despite being dead more than once. <laughs> Thank you to our grade three and four teachers that helped step up the level of learning and helped us have fun along the way. Mrs. McDonald was our grade five, six teacher and she helped us adapt to the COVID-19 pandemic. As the pandemic spread over the globe and lockdowns were activated, IXL never stopped, though sometimes we wish it could have. <laughs> Say that again. I think that having Mrs. McDonald as a teacher was a blessing because while many other schools had their classes come to a stop, Mrs. McDonald kept us learning. There was not just COVID though, because we remember power thoughts and that mistakes can help you learn. When the grade six through eight went to Canada's Wonderland for band, Mrs. McDonald held a cook-off for us grade fives. Mrs. McDonald taught us the power of thoughts and brought new concepts in like homework. This was truly a foreign concept. <laughs> now I have the honor of thanking our 2022 grade seven and eight class teachers. Mrs. Turner worked like a true superhero. Could you imagine te teaching science, typing, art, and drama? In the younger grades, the field trip to the Elmira Medieval Fair was excellent. This is where we learned about swords. <laughs> <laughs> typing was a new concept in grade seven. At first, a minimum of 30 to 40 words a minute seemed impossible, but with a little practice, we became typing machines. Mrs. Turner deserves more than a little appreciation. Madame Collard, vous avez enseigné nous beaucoup de choses. We went from foreigners to the French language to speaking cafe skirts. 
from conjugating avoir and être to using past tenses and speaking full sentences, you have shown your love for French in every single class. Our music teacher, the one and only Mrs. Robinson, took us from barely making a sound on our instruments to playing full pieces of music. And during the COVID-19, when we could not play our instruments due to the airborne disease, you taught us excessively about Beethoven and the history behind it. <laughs> <laughs> One thing all of the students love is your humor, which is frequently used to keep students in line in concert band and in normal classes. Mrs. Medeiros taught us major construction skills, and we learned plenty about ourselves. She is always willing to help us if we have a question, and she always helped make these subjects that did not make much sense come to clarity. Thank you, Mrs. Medeiros, for dealing with us talkative teams and making science class truly enjoyable. Mrs. Peters was our snack-giving history slash geography teacher. Mrs. Peters taught us what would most consider the boring subjects, which are geography, history, and health. But she made them fun with role-playing and sidewalk chalk. <laughs> she was one of our pandemic teachers who helped, who tried her best with cahoots and gummy worms to make the experience one that we would not soon forget. Mr. Holmes is a jack of all trades, teaching gym, art, and even the 3 4 class. He made it evident this year that he lives his life for the Lord. He is a true artist, constantly making pieces that blew our minds. Along with that, he would always find a way to keep us motivated in gym class. Thank you, Mr. Holmes, for being an exemplary teacher for how we should live our lives for the Lord. Next, I would like to thank a teacher who did not actually teach at this school. All the way from Orangeville, please welcome Mrs. Eggert. Some of us grade eights were able to attend the Reach Ahead program through Nimbus, and I doubt we would have been able to pass without her help. Thank you, Mrs. Eggert, for teaching us useful skills for the future, like financial literacy and box plots. <laughs> And now for the final teacher on the list, Mrs. Stevens. Thank you so much for all that has been done for our class. Your constant donut prizes and birthday treats <laughs> will not be forgotten. Our Madiba trip at the beginning of the year was very special. Times tables were another new factor that was added into school life. These came as more responsibilities also came because there had to be a way to drill these responsibilities into us. <laughs> Your daily attendance questions were great for getting us to start the day thinking, and math class always ended up making sense with you teaching us. I am sure that crossing out prepositional phrases will help us extensively in high school. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Mrs. Stevens, for giving us multiple tips and tricks to help us in high school. Grade sevens, we had a blast with you, and I hope that we left some good examples that you can follow, like how to play bump. <laughs> we had many entertaining recesses with you. Hiking in Schneider's Flats was a blast, with cattail seeds flying everywhere. I am sure that you will be a great role model for the grade sevens next year. And now for the grade eights. Ava was always being creative. Whether it was crochet or art or any other form of creativity, Ava was on it and always willing to share. Ben definitely needed a seatbelt. <laughs> As he fell out of his chair more than once. <laughs> ben was kind and funny, and although he claims my jokes were torture, I can tell that on the inside he enjoyed them very much. <laughs> Brooklyn always said that she was not artistic, but as the year progressed, we all saw her artistic ability come out of her. She was also very good with numbers, being a big help in our math class when we needed help on a difficult problem. Haley was talkative, but it was hardly a bad thing. She was an <laughs> avid learner and was always willing to help out in class. Marcus was a perfectionist taking hours on his beautiful title pages. <laughs> 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 he 
He is very smart and was an amazing friend to all of our classmates. He was one of the more artistic people in our class and made what seems like hundreds of designs, doodles, and sketches. Alex's basketball skills were unmatched and he is a very fast runner. And I wonder how the year must have been for Alex, looking at all the tops of our heads. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle was the coding master, and when our coding project came around, guess what he made? A video game. <laughs> this was quite, quite the crazy project. Andrew was the volleyball pro. We were not happy when you were out for over a month due to COVID, appendicitis, and a concussion. But Andrew, resilient as ever, was able to make a comeback. Isaac joined halfway through the year, but he adapted quickly. He was very amicable, and soon after he joined, he was instantly playing bump with the rest of us. Maya was amazing at acting, and from what I know, she is very good at the violin. Even as a part-time student, she made a good impact on all of our lives. Liam was extremely kind. But on the flip side, he definitely wanted to strangle me at times. Right? <laughs> His tennis skills are still unmatched, and he was always willing to share. Jason always had food that Alex was envious of. <laughs> like, like kimchi rice. Jason was super funny and pretty good at basketball. Oliver tricked the boys at Madiba into eating the most disgusting jelly beans that you can imagine. He was definitely among the best of us at basketball, and he was an exemplary friend. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope for a future. My wish is that all of my classmates take this verse and know that, in the, great, in the words of the great Mrs. Stevens, <laughs> I hope that in all the crazy, random, adventurous things that teenagers do, that they will always remember that they belong to the Lord. Thank you. So, as the valedictorian, and I'm sure... See, we had him for a very long time, so we are used to all of his jokes, and we are so, we're going to miss him a lot here. And so what I'd like to do right now is to give you the valedictorian medal, and Mrs. Peters is going to place that around your neck, and I don't know if Dad wants to come for a closer shot, but go for it. Oh, you're okay? <laughs> Thank you very much, Ethan.